hello and very warm welcome to swift tutorials in today's video we are going to learn about how to draw route on map using map kit and mk directions in swift 4 in our last video we learned about how to draw custom pin annotations on map kit so let's start and learn how to draw route on map using map kit and swift 4 so create a new xcode project i already created one for me using single view application template so if you haven't done that then please create single view application template project and name it draw root on map kit so for this first we will create interface and here we will drive map kit and here it is to our view and we will make it like this and we'll give it a constraints okay so let's give the constraint with respect to view it's view zero and view zero here from the view not safe area and here so here and so we are done and here we need to draw or create an IB outlet so here select map view new referencing outlet and here name it M view and here so now we are done with the design part we only left with the coding part now so now let's open view controller dot swift <coughs> sorry and here for creating a custom annotation we need to create a class i already have code from my previous tutorial and here i print it so here we created a custom pin and inherit from ns object class using and we will use mk annotation protocol so it has three properties coordinate title and subtitle and then we write an initializer for the same so these are giving error because we haven't import map kit framework so here the map kit framework and now you will see these errors will gone now okay so these cons now here we have our annotation class 2 and now let we have to create location so first we'll in source location is equals to cl location coordinate and here we will pass that and same let's copy this and here we say destination location same it's so for getting code latitude and longitude for the cities i used that long dot net so here i will choose two cities <coughs> first the source cities will consist city and here i will say copy the latitude and open my xcode and here i paste it here then goes and copy the latitude and now here on the longitude so for the destination will be our st louis and here copy the latitude and then the longitude so these are very important aspect for getting a location on a map and here we have x code and we draw. so now we have location now let create a pin let's say source pin is equals to custom pin and this custom pin is our this class custom pin and here it accepts title is can says city and subtitle will be this and coordinate will be source location and same for the destination pin so copy this and paste this and here we say destination pin and destination pin we sent Louis let me check the spelling okay st louis is this and subtitle and destination location will be goes here so now we have both our pin now it's time to add those pin to our map and here we have self dot map view dot add annotation and here mk annotation so we will add source pin because it's uh, implementing mk annotation so here and map view dot 
and annotation and here we say destination pin so now if at this moment if I run my project now if we run our project then you will see the custom pins on the map view so it's building project is opening up and it's built succeeding no errors no warning so far it's quite good and the project or code are looking good So the Xcode is launching our application on iPhone 10 simulator. It's a little bit slow. So here it is, the application loading, but it's picking my location. I didn't set the reason. So here, if you press option and this, then you can zoom in, zoom out. Let me zoom in, let me move here. And you will see the pins on America. So here we have our pins. So I didn't specify the reason. That's why it's not showing correctly right now. I have to zoom in and here you can say Kansas City and St. Louis. So now it's time to draw the route and then we will also make the app to zoom to this location when it's launched. So here we have we need to create a place mark for them. So let's say let source place mark is equals to mk place mark and here we have method that is a set coordinate so here we say that is source location and say for the destination so here we have destination place mark and here we will say destination location okay so we have a place mark and now we need to find the directions so let request for direction direction request is equals to mk direction request and packets and slice it and now we have to specify the source contact direction request dot source so it's a map mk map item is required and here we say mk map item and here we will say what it's required it required place mark so we say source place mark and same for the destination let's copy and paste this here and say destination and here mk is destination place mark okay now we need to specify the transport type that for which like walking or driving or something else the so direction request dot transport type is equals to dot and you can see the options automobile transit or walking so we'll say automobile and now it's time to get to we specify the direction request that is necessary inputs to so the getting direction request now it's time to get the directions so say let directions is equals to mk directions and here it will accept a request direction request so we will pass the direction request and here we now need to calculate the directions so here direction request no oh sorry directions dot calculate and here we have completion error when i press enter here we have a response so here direction or you can say this response and error and here we type our code so here we say god so god let direction response is equals to 
response and here else here we say return because sometimes the apple map is not fully work on all locations like india or something else so it returns error for the directions so we have to check it otherwise our app will get crashed so here and here we will say if let error is equals to error then we print we have error getting directions so here and here we have return so our app will get return whenever we got an error so it's a not now so we say this or we can say here directions and it is equals to error dot localized description so it will print the description you get so now here we have error and now the last step we need to add this root if we have some root so for that we will do let route or root is equals to direction response because it and here he had we have roots the array and here we get the fastest root at the first index so we pass a zero here and then we add self dot map view dot add overlay a level overlay a level we'll say root dot polyline and overlay level is dot and here we will get above labels above road so we will say above roads so here we have our added and now let at this time just create a bounding rect so that the user will get to these locations whenever the app is opened up so for that let's create let rect is equals to route or root dot polyline dot bounding map rect so it will give the rect and here we'll say self dot map view dot set reason and here mk coordinate reason for map rect and we have rect in our last line rect here animated will be true okay so here it says that so now all is that we get the root and we add it to our map but it will not display anything because we haven't implemented the delegate so for this let's say self dot map view dot delegate is equals to self and we specify and here we tell this class that we will implement mk map view delegate and here it is now uh, here let's say let's mark and map get daily gates and make it little we'll draw this map and this get okay so now we need to specify the delegate for this and the delegate will be type map view map view renderer so ask the delegate for a renderer object to use when drawing the specified overlay so here we will implement this method and here we will write let a renderer renderer is equals to mk polyline renderer and it will accept overlay and we have overlay here so overlay goes here and we will say render dot stroke color so the color of our root so we will say ui color dot whatever color you want so let's say blue and here we can also specify the width for the same renderer dot 
line width is equals to say 4.0 you can give it how much width you want to give and then we will return it because it expect in mk overlay render object that is how we are running that so here we have m renderer so now let's run the app and see if it works for us or not so we are running it and it's building and it's built succeeded so it means we have done a good job so far and let's see if it's doing the same on the simulator so it's running and it's loading and here it's you can see it's creating the bounding rate but not so properly but it will go on here you can see the map is drawn and here you can see from the Kansas City to St. Louis so here in this video you learn how to draw route between two items in map kit using Swift 4 and if you like this video then please do give it a thumbs up and please share this video and do subscribe to our channel so that you can get future updates for more Swift 4 video tutorials. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.